Picture this. You have to make a project and you have no clue where to start. Don't worry, we were in the same spot a few months ago. We hadn't had the slightest idea of what the outcome would be and how we would get there. But to lessen your burden, we decided to make a quick tutorial for you. Here is a list of recommendations to keep in mind while working on the project. So our local history project is about uh, national socialism here in Slovakia. The victims of national socialism. The Jewish community in my city, Bratislava. Our local history project is about the synagogue in Trebišov and how it was destroyed and how we don't know any information about that. So I like to uh, remember the synagogue and a Jewish culture that was in Trebišov. First step. At the beginning, you should go to your local museum and ask the staff about topic you need. They will give you every information they can and some recommendation for your further steps. It happened that the exhibition about topic which we needed was introduced in our museum. We found some general information about our topic there. Second step, you can go to your local library. By using certain keywords, you will find books that could lead you to new information. Third step. You are stuck. You can't think of any other options. But you can always ask your teachers, parents, or any other supervisor for help. For example, our teacher helped us find some books which were in scientific library in Košice. It ended up being really useful in moving us forward. Fourth step. Another method, maybe more in emotional point of view, is an interview. You can ask people who remember, were affected, or even affected the topic you need. Fifth step. The most basic source of information you can use is an internet. There is lots of interesting websites, such as Google Arts. In our case, it was the Torah that is now in Sydney, Australia. Six steps. One of the fun ways of presenting information is to make a video. You don't have to use anything professional. You can just use your phone camera and free editing program. At first, we selected important information together and put them into a script. We made three parts for each of us. It included information, but also our method of searching and our feelings about the topic. Some parts were filmed and other parts were pictures with voiceover. Then one of us edited a video. We created an interactive map with videos, pictures and short texts to every location. The form is up to you. Seventh step. You can share your final project with others to get a feedback. We met with other participants of our project and we discussed and compared them. This is the place where the uh, neurological synagogue was, but uh, it was destroyed in 1969 because uh, they were building uh, this hallway.
in this local history project, I've learned that there used to be a huge uh, Jewish community here in Slovakia. This project changed my view on history because now I know it's not just dates, places and very long boring names of kings and queens, but it's also the history of local common people like me, like us. In this project, I learned um, much more about our history in my city and the Jewish community that lived here. Except knowledge, I have learned more how to do things with people, how to cooperate. I don't think that history is that boring and you can learn something not just like from books and from school sitting at the table, but you can go to the city, go to the museum and find out some new information. These were some tips which were effective for us. I hope some of them will be useful for you too.